Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing what makes your ex come back. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing what makes your ex come back. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, then you will likely be wondering what would make your ex come back. Although there is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back, I will be discussing three points to consider when I answer the question of what is likely to make your ex come back. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is they must want to come back. So when I say this, what this references is that you can't beg, plead or reason because this would be you trying to persuade or try to give a reason why you believe you and your ex should get back together rather than them actually coming to that conclusion by themselves. Now look, as I've already said, there is no guaranteed way to get your ex back, but also it's important to realise that not only does nothing necessarily work 100% of the time, but nothing fails 100% of the time either. And therefore, what we can sometimes see is abnormalities within the statistics, okay? If you get 100 people who beg, plead, or reason their ex, you will get one or two, maybe even three or four, who are successful, But of course, that is not the majority. That is a tiny minority. And I'm trying to give you the best hints, tips and advice to increase your chance of success. You can't be taking the risks of which might, in a very small amount of instances, get your ex back because the likelihood is it will not work for you. In most instances, if you beg, plead or reason your ex, this is not going to connect, okay? This is not going to make your ex naturally want to reconnect with you. And even if they were to, this would likely come from a place of pity or concern and it won't be true. It won't be true love. It won't be what they are really genuinely feeling. And this will probably mean that in the near to medium term, they would end the relationship again. Instead, I believe in something called romantic emotional attraction. And for me, this is the reason as for why an ex may decide to want to reconnect, why a dumper may change their mind and want to reconnect with their dumpy. When you and your ex were in your relationship, you were both feeling a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. Now, for various potential reasons, this level of attraction unfortunately dropped in your now ex's mind. And once it hit a necessary low point, this is when they ended the relationship. This is when they became the dumper. So, for your ex, the dumper, to want to reconnect with you, this level of romantic emotional attraction needs to grow once more. This can happen in many ways, but in essence, I would always say that it's got to come from them. Okay, you can do things to try to influence this, But at the end of the day, it has to come from them. If you implement my version of a no contact rule, this will give you a great opportunity to try to create space, create time for your ex to really see how they feel with life without you. And that will give you a good opportunity to see potential growth. I would describe it this way. If you were to imagine a car, if you imagine you're driving your car and you see the fuel gauge is very, very low, you need to fill up, okay? So this fuel gauge in this analogy is romantic emotional attraction. Your ex has a very low fuel gauge. This fuel gauge needs to rise and there are things you can do to influence this, which is in essence as if you're going to the petrol station, going to the gas station and putting in some gas, putting in some petrol. This will increase the level of romantic emotional attraction in your ex's mind, into the fuel gauge. However, they won't want to reconnect unless it is full. 
So whatever the situation you are in, your level of romantic emotional attraction in your ex's mind will be at a different position, a different point to other people you may know. That is why some people get their ex back sooner than others. That's why some people never hear from their ex again. Because if this fuel gauge, if this attraction level is so low, then even if you do all of the right things, this will not be able to grow enough attraction, put in enough fuel to reach the necessary high point. So what we need to see from this moment in time is you need to do everything you can to grow this attraction in your ex's mind in a natural, organic way. If and when it hits the high point, they will want to reconnect. If it doesn't, then unfortunately, you may never hear from your ex again. In essence, what we are trying to say here is, although you can try to influence things to a degree, this has to be your ex's decision. And not only that, the time it may take can vary dramatically. If this attraction level is really low, it is going to take a lot of fill-ups, you might say, a lot of moments to increase that attraction, to increase that intrigue, to increase that fuel gauge. It's going to take more of those before your ex will want to reconnect. If your ex ended the relationship and the attraction, the fuel gauge was only a little bit beneath the minimum level, then that will mean it's much easier to regrow the necessary amount of attraction. And hence, that is why some people reconnect with their exes after weeks or maybe even days in some rare instances. I would always say that the average amount of time for a dumper to reach out to a dumpy is around six months. That's the average, okay? Some is much sooner, some is much later, even into many, many years, and some, unfortunately, will never hear from their ex again. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about what makes your ex come back. And point number two is problems must be solved. So when we're talking about problems must be solved, we are focusing on the reasons for why romantic emotional attraction was lost in the first place. If these problems aren't solved, then your ex dumper is not going to want to reconnect. Even if they start to regrow intrigue, even if they begin to miss you, if and when they speak with you, contact you, this will fall apart if it becomes apparent that the problems haven't been solved. These problems could be trust issues. Maybe the relationship ended due to infidelity. Maybe the relationship ended due to bad money habits, for instance. It could be anything regarding trust. Let's just say, for example, that you are very jealous, very needy. You're always trying to check where your ex is. You're always trying to check your ex's phone when you were together. These are the type of behaviours which need to have trust regrown. Else a new relationship is certainly not going to succeed. So, problems could be involving trust, they need to be fixed, but how about attraction issues? Maybe you stopped working on yourself, maybe you became a less attractive option, physically, mentally, spiritually, maybe you became complacent. Again, if these issues haven't been fixed, if you aren't a better version of yourself, if you aren't somebody who is clearly trying to move forward in a positive way, then your ex dumper is not going to reconnect with you. If your relationship ended because your ex no longer found you physically attractive, if things haven't changed, if you're not working on yourself, living a healthier lifestyle, somebody who is looking after themselves by eating healthy, removing bad substances, getting enough sleep, those type of things and more, including style, you know, if you are not making the effort, then why would they want to reconnect? Additionally, we have to consider lifestyle issues. Maybe your breakup was because you were doing something which your ex was very unhappy with, or maybe you were preventing your ex from doing things that they really, really want to do. Again, if these things haven't been sorted, then your ex dumper will not want to reconnect. If, for instance, you were never happy that they did their favourite hobby, then they're not going to reconnect if you still have that problem. This is something which needs to be solved. So, problems need to be solved if and when you and your ex can reconnect, because if they aren't, then this romantic emotional attraction, even if it's been regrown in the interim, is certainly not going to last, it's not going to grow further, it is going to decrease once more. A breakup takes place because attraction has been lost, but the reason for this will be various, okay? And this needs to be solved. Every single one of these issues needs to be solved and more improved upon if you're going to have a happier, stronger relationship this time around. 
So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about what makes your ex come back. And point number three is that they need to miss you. Now, when we speak about this, this isn't just about romantic emotional attraction. They need to understand what life is like without you. They need to miss you. So what I would always say is if you've been dumped, never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. If you chase your ex, then you are not giving them the opportunity to see what life is like without you. Okay, you must give them space. You must let them understand that you are not going to be there for them if they end the relationship. An example of this is you don't get your ex a birthday present. Okay, if they're not in your life anymore, you don't get them a present. You don't get them a card even. Why would you give them the benefit of being with you without being with you? This is something you don't do with an ex, okay? You get your girlfriend a present, you get your boyfriend a present, you don't get your ex a present. Something very important to remember. It's not about being rude, it's just about that is not what happens. Additionally, as I said, your ex but dumper needs to miss you and they will miss you if and when they've experienced life without you. You must let them go through what I like to call the single honeymoon period. When somebody ends a relationship, they will enter the single honeymoon period and this is a period of time where they will live the life that they felt they couldn't live if they was in the relationship with you. Now this might be something obvious, like dating new people, of course, that wouldn't have worked if they was dating you, so this is something they could only do as a single person, but it could be more subtle, it could be experimenting with new hobbies, new interests, going to more parties, going to clubs, all of these things and more included within the single honeymoon period. You might say they need to get it out of their system. This is something they need to live because they can't begin to miss you if they have things that they still want to do. Eventually, the new becomes old. Things which seemed exciting become mundane and boring. And that is what you need to allow your ex to do. Generally speaking, the single honeymoon period takes around six months or so, sometimes a bit less, sometimes longer. They need to get this out of their system. They need to live that life and realise that it maybe isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Now, going back to the very beginning of today's podcast, we said nothing is guaranteed. And unfortunately, it is true that in some instances, a dump may find a new connection, a new relationship. However, this is not likely to last. People who connect with new relationships shortly after a breakup are very unlikely to last long term. We call these rebound relationships. The reason for this is because it is very hard to find a long-term compatible partner and the likelihood of finding a long-term compatible partner so soon after the breakup from a previous long-term compatible partner, well, it is minimal. The odds of this happening are tiny and therefore, although it's not impossible, it is unlikely. What is more likely to happen is that your expert dumper may go on a few dates, but it won't go anywhere serious. And therefore, you need to let them get this out of their system. And if and when they realise that life isn't as great as they thought it might be without you, this is when they will start to wonder about you. And if you've done everything right, if you've not hassled them, if you've not chased them, they will wonder what you're up to. And this is where romantic emotional attraction can really start to grow again. The intrigue, the wonder, the missing you. If you want to get your ex back, if you are wondering what will it take for your dumper to come back to you, well, they need to miss you. Give them the space, give them the opportunity and see what happens. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me, that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you. Finding love ain't no problem. Yeah, date me, that tips. Check it out now.